good morning everybody today heading off to work again my phone is so annoying i woke up and it was at 30 percent and it was charging all night i don't know what's going on oh i'm just like and i spent about half an hour just trying to fix my phone at like six o'clock in the morning it was insane because i was scared that it wasn't going to turn on and then my alarm wasn't going off and then i wasn't going to wake up in time but anyways i'm heading off to work i'm running late it's a Tuesday, so Tuesday, what am I talking about? It's a Monday, so traffic should be okay-ish. I checked and it's about 45 minutes, which is not too bad, but um, I'm wearing these again. I'm hoping that today is the day that my feet just breaks into it and it's gonna be amazing from now on. Oh my God, is this my camera? No, it's house camera. Okay, I'll speak to you guys in a little bit. Hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. And um, let's start the day. Okay, awkward thing just happened. I was trying to do some cool little shots with the camera, but I forgot my keys and now I'm locked out of the house and I can't open my car. So I need to call her right now. Babe? Can you please open the door? My keys are inside and I'm locked out of the house. Thank you. Got the keys. Time to head off. That probably wasted about 10 minutes. So it is now 9.20. I said it was 45 minutes to get to work. I don't know if I'm going to make it, but I'm, I'm going to try. I have to because I'm the only one that's dead today. So I've got to get there. Enough chit chatting. Bye, guys. Winning. I made it here with 10 minutes to spare. So I'm able to grab myself a tea and everything. Now I've got to set up the store, do some stuff, and, and get it ready to open. Good afternoon, guys. 2.30. Let's start my day. And I'll explain to you what I do in the morning. Because you're going to be like, what the hell? You just wake up at 2.30 every single day. I don't, trust me. Every single Monday mornings, what I do is I do my books. So what you guys need to understand is that all my businesses, I run them by myself. A to Z. So from accounting to managing to website developing to social media to everything. I try not to outsource everything because at the very beginning, trust me guys, you guys want to know everything, literally everything about your business. Even like if it comes to a, a later stage that it's you got so much going on, then outsource it. But the good thing is when you do outsource it, you're not blind. You actually do understand what is going on, what you need, what, you just understand the business. You understand it as a whole, which is the best thing, best thing about it. And saying that, that's what I do on Monday mornings. I run through all my accounts. I do, even just like the DJing stuff, I, I send invoices, I, I follow up on emails, I reply to emails, and I follow up on new business adventures. And the good thing is, I literally just secured Australia's first account with this company that sneakerheads love. We, oh, I can't believe it. We are the first Australian distributor of this. I'm so excited, so excited. It's gonna be crazy. I'm really looking forward to stocking this brand. And also guys, I'm actually rethinking the pop-up shop of what it could or should be. I'm not sure if I just want to do a pop-up shop that just does Bape and Supreme and like hype stuff because the investment for that and then the outcome plus time plus whatever, it, it's actually not calculating. Like, I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys want to see from a pop-up store from me? And I really want to make a decision within the next two to three days. So I'm thinking either do like a cocaine, babe, and just everything. Just go ham and do everything. But 
I really want to do a cocaine one. Like, because one, I want to really focus more on my brand and just reselling Bape and Supreme and stuff like that right now for me. It's a pastime. Honestly, it's a pastime. I've just found better things and I, and I've figured out all the time that I've wasted trying to resell Bape and Supreme and all that. I could have just put it in my brand and actually worked on my brand rather. Like, it was a good... I'm not saying it wasn't a bad source of income, I'm not saying that, but the income that I have generated from that, I have been placing into cocaine and now I should be working on my brand, yeah? And it's honestly a hard thing, like, I enjoy babe, I, like, I love it. And at the same time, as I told you guys, when I went to Japan, I feel like I killed the brand for myself. I don't know, is this enough cereal? What the hell, I'm eating cereal at 2.30 in the afternoon. What the fuck? But later on today, I have a basketball game, which is super exciting because yesterday I didn't play as well as I wanted to and it got like, oh my God, if I can, if I can, if I can show you guys by cork, I got corked all the way through here and it's bruising up, like bruising the whole way. And I'm limping and oh my God, it's insane. I'm actually super excited about opening this new store and the pop-up store for me, it's just like, there's like a week and a weekend that, that the store hasn't opened yet and we're not sure what to do. So I was like, hey, you know what? I might as well just do something with it, but I'm not too sure if a pop-up shop right now is the best idea. I want you guys to actually comment below, really. I really need your help on this one. Need to start sending out the rest of the parcels that I've got here. There's only a few left, gotta get my bag, go straight to the post office because it's nearly the end of business day. Let's go. Need to get my bag. Oh. My thigh is killing me right now. Oh. oh, basketball bag. Need to replace you for my duffel bag. There you go, buddy. I'm gonna be pretty sure about it, but the next time you see me come into this car, I'm gonna be complaining about how much postage is because everything I'm sending right now is going overseas. And I'm sure I'm gonna be like, oh my God, and this is the same face that I'm gonna be doing. Guess what time it is? It's time for me to complain about shipping. Yeah, there it is. Singapore, just for one jumper, 37.65. The USA, one jumper, $41. Another USA, $41. Total, $171. And look, all right, United Kingdom, here we go. UK, $50. There goes, that's literally all my profit, gone. Just on shipping. So I actually lose money on most of these. But, you know, what, what can I possibly do? Seriously, guys, someone tell me what can I do. Like, I spoke to Philly about this, and I want to speak to you guys about it and actually get your honest opinion. Do I jack the prices up on my jumper? and make shipping the same because I'm always going to get international people buying my stuff but then it's unfair for the people who are local like I don't know what to do but I've honestly broken down the cost and, and how much I get I actually profit for these jumpers and you guys know it's like 5 to 10 dollars it's, it's nothing it actually hurts like it actually like it, it bothers me it do, like I don't like it, don't don't be discouraged not to to buy things on my website. I'll still pay for it no matter what. But I just feel like how is this possible? Like how is a five hundred gram parcel right forty dollars to ship? Straight from work, straight here to basketball. Hopefully he wins tonight. No warm up. No warm up. It's freezing. I feel like everyone's going to be saying this right here because Melbourne is so cold and obviously it is winter. I don't know if I told you either. Tomorrow we might, might, might be going to the snow. So that's going to be exciting.
Thank you for watching that video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, always don't forget to go ham on that thumbs up button. Leave any comments you guys want to leave down below. But as I said guys, I really want you guys to help me with this pop-up store. I thought about it all day and I will be running this pop-up store. Even if it's just for like a meet and greet with you guys. And even if it's just to sell just a bit of bait, a bit of Supreme, a bit of hype beast stuff. I'm more than happy just to do it for you guys and see you guys there. And yeah, I hope it's a really good a turnout. I'm not going to do anything over the top, over the craziness because I really need to put my time into this new business venture that I'm doing. I'll speak to you guys on tomorrow's vlog.